Hi friends! Welcome back to the Silly Farm Video Corner. Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, you keep me motivated with all your emails. And thank you guys, everybody's participation at Faba TV. This is our super duper Faba TV producer and he's back. He's pretty much the only person in this office that will let me paint them. And I think it's because... I'm so nice. So, uh, anyways, I want to get you guys excited for Halloween because it's coming up. So I want to give you a couple of ideas. Um, so yesterday he let me use his beautiful face uh, to do a couple of uh, mean things to him. So today we're just going to build upon that and then give you an idea of what you can use for a girl. Uh, so I'm going to kind of surprise you guys. And as you go, you can see how I'm combining the elements that we used yesterday. Um, and thank you guys for joining me. Okay, for those people in New York and New Jersey, I will see you Monday. So uh, make sure to bring your A-games to the Super Jams because we are going to have so much fun. All right, so let's get started. So first what we're going to try to do, what I'm going to do is um, give him kind of that bruised effect over his eyes. So, so that we can create a mask. He's going to pick up a little bit of this purple and yellow mix right here. And then I'm going to also pick up a little bit of that like burgundy plum and mix them right over so that I have a mixture on my sponge. And then I'm going to blot it out so that I get off any extra moisture. And then what I like to do is I like to just test the color on my hand to make sure that it's not too strong. Like that's super strong. So I want to make sure that I'm going to blot off a lot more of the paint so that when I go to apply it on my skin it's gonna look much more milky milkier so I start off by just close your eyes please I'm just going to start off in the corner of his eyes by just blotting down these colors with the purple darkest in the corners right in there now on this same sponge I'm just going to pick up a little bit of the red I'm still putting down this purple so that I can blacken those eyes out. I really beat them up for doing a bad job on my class. So now I'm picking up this burgundy. It's called Plum and Rage. And again, I'm using a very kind of dry sponge. You And I'm going to test it on my wrist, make sure that the color is not too intense. You want it to be a little bit more milky. So then I'm going to go around it, stippling it again just like that and I'm going to use my fingers make sure that they're dry to kind of just smudge it make sure that it's not too um, too overpowering same thing on this side so I'm just mixing a little bit of the yellow and the red and I'm going to test it on my hand yep and that's the color I'm looking for so I'm just building it out just like this and I'm building it up kind of into a wing shape because I'm going to do kind of like a stitched up butterfly okay around there around the outside so if you notice this is beginning to look like the shape of my butterfly so the next thing that I'm going to do is just using my finger again and I'm going to pick up a little bit of this yellow um, from it and I'm just going to randomly tap it in those areas very very gently I'm going to pick up just a little dab of this green and yellow on a pretty much dry sponge because I don't want it to be um, too too uh, wet and I'm just going to kind of add a little bit of green around there so that he has infected green eye I mean black eyes I'm going to liquefy some of my black I don't want it to be too strong and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of that gray and right in the corners and right underneath it I'm just going to go underneath his eyes right here and right inside of the corners of his eyes now using my finger I'm just going to blend this out and you want to work while the paint is still wet and see underneath his eye he still has a lot of room so I'm just gonna try to go back in there really quickly so that um, he doesn't have it. so now I'm gonna go on this side and again I'm just going in 
And look at me, I'm switching hands, guys. I don't know, I'm ambidextri ambidextrous. Right. So just so that I don't have to totally flip side, so I'm going right underneath it. And again, I'm going to just smudge it out while it's still moldable. And I'll have him open his eye to make sure that I got close enough. Yes, all right, perfect. So I start off thin, thick, and finish off thin. And I'm just going to make my two little antennas right over there. I'm just smudging that out. And now I'm going to pick up a little bit of the black. And I'm just going to add this little, little thin black to it. And again, I'm going to use my finger to just kind of smudge that one out. And then I'm going to create the stitches really quickly. And we did that by just kind of laying down our brush. So I'm just going to create with no particular order, just some stitches right inside of there. And we'll save the black for the last. So now I have my first set of stitches right in there. And even if you want to, you can make a few X stitches on every other one. All right, so now we're gonna create this stitch effect around the entire butterfly. Start off the same way we did this initial one. We'll make our first line first kind of wound I would say following the same curve up so head straight lay it down bring it up so I'm gonna bring it down a little bit into the corner of the eye and from the corner of the eye I'm gonna do another one just like that and then I'm going to cross this wound coming down right inside of there and then a smaller one right there so I have one wound going up, one wound coming down, one coming into the eye. Now while it's still wet, I'm just going to smudge those out a little bit. See that one was a little bit wetter, which is okay. So I'm just going to kind of stipple over it just like that. So that just means our stitches are going to be a little bit bigger. So I'll start off working on the top. So I'm going to go in and create some stitches along all of those wounds. So I'm just going to create one here, 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 maybe cross one out, right inside of there. So now we have the beginning of this butterfly with all of our stitches. Now the next thing I'm going to do is just follow this same pattern around using my, my markings and I'm going to follow it towards the bottom. So I'm going to make one of them thick, Thin and follow it right along there and I'll just make one and two crossing over so that I finish off this design and I'm going right over it follow it all the way around so right inside there so now he's pretty stitched okay so I'm just going out and I'm outlining those areas so that you can tell where your stitches start and finish and I'm just outlining like I did and I'm just outlining all of my stitches right in there so now I'm just going to drip a little bit of blood here and there and remember how I told you that you want to get your um, your uh, bristles pretty wet, get your paint pretty wet in order for you to have a more liquefied blood. And of course I'm going to go right in here because I left that space open for a reason. As a finishing touch, I'm also going to give him his evil lips. And, I, and he, the good thing about John is that he already has um, really good lip shape. Like they're already pretty heart shaped if you've noticed. And, um, and he shaved for me so this is going to work. So I'm just going to trace over the shape of his lip with this kind of blood red color which I love. I just think it looks so good. And I must owe him a lifetime supply of Lefty's chicken wings for letting me do this to him. Mm -hmm. So then once I put on this um, red color, then what I'm going to do is using my black, I'm just going... <laughs> what? I'm not going to outline them. Don't smile. Okay. So 
so now like what I'm going to do is using my black I'm just going to come out of the corner of his lips and turn a little bit and I'm just going to bring this down so that it gives it that little bit more of an evil pursed effect a couple of things that you can do to spice this up you can add some really bold uh, red lipstick um, I mean red glitter on top of those lips um, or you can just leave it as this so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial of my bandaged and bruised butterfly uh, thank you John for joining me and thank you uh, for being such a great model and let's just get a nice little close-up of you hot stuff <laughs>